Hey guys, so I'm going to tell you today how my first day of trout went. Alright, first thing is first day. we got to fill our lips up. So if it's not already done guys, fill them up with me. Today, tough guy lemon. Let's do this. Cheers. Orange Rarity Mud Jug. You guys want to get yourself one of these badass spittoons, go to mudjug.com. Get you one. So anyway, two days ago was the amazing first day of trout here in Southern PA. Now, can somebody tell me how on the first day, four hours after the opening hour, you can go to three different creeks and not even see a fish? No bites, nothing chasing, and the water was pretty clear at two of them, and you can't even see them moving around. Like, what the hell? Now, the first creek we went to, I went last year on the first day, at the same time, because I worked that Saturday until noon. Four hours after the opening hour. My daughter and I both had our limit within ten minutes. This year? Yeah. Not a dick thing. So... I don't know. There's no way. No way in hell that you can tell me three cricks got fished out in four hours to where you can't even see a damn fish swimming. Now, I mean, come on. There's a lot of people around here that I know for sure do catch and release. So you would still at least see them swimming. They might not bite because they got a sore damn lip, but they're still going to swim around. Now, here's the real kicker. Our damn fishing license keep going up. And the Game Commission says that they're going up because the price of trout are going up. So, tell me how it makes sense that the price of trout goes up, your fishing license go up, and they put less trout in the damn cricks. Like, what the shit? How's that even fair to us? The three cricks I went to show on the Pennsylvania Game Commissioner website that they were stocked the week before trout season. So, I mean, come on. Even the guys out around here that don't have a damn job because they're too lazy to get off the damn couch couldn't even have went out and fished it all out that fast. What the shit? I mean, let me know if you, you got the same problem around your area that the fish are getting less and less. The, the, the pisses me off the most is you go to these damn meetings around here at the rod and gun clubs and shit. And they're like, you know, get kid inv kids involved and outdoors. And they keep them out of trouble and out of drugs. Well, let me tell you what. It's pretty hard to get them into outdoors when there's nothing to, to catch. Nothing to hunt anymore around here. This past Saturday on the opening day, I took my seven-year-old daughter and my two-year-old niece fishing. I don't give a dick if I catch anything. I don't care. I can go catch, you know, panfish all day. I'm I'm more into catfish than anything. I don't care. I tried to get them out there. My daughter's been fishing since she was three. Now we took my little niece out, tried to get her into it. And they didn't even get a bite. And we were out there for at least two and a half, three hours to one spot. And, I mean, come on. There was people all around us. You could sit there and watch... And their pools weren't bending at all neither. I think what it comes down to is it's less fish getting put in the water. Licenses are going up. It's like, what the hell? I mean, come on. I don't know. Here's a clip from a new spot I've seen. Check it out. It's a beautiful spot. The reason I went to this spot is because I went to the damn local little grocery store around here. And the guy's like, oh... I was out there this morning, there was nobody else there. I had my limit in like 20 minutes. He's like, there's fish everywhere. Yeah, he's full of shit. I don't care. He's full of shit. But here's a clip of what you got, what I found. Check it out. It's pretty sweet.
bit of a mealworm. Hope y'all like this. I don't know. I'm hoping. Hopefully I can find some damn trout. Because I got mystery tackle box trout that I want to do. I finally finished my first panfish box yesterday morning. You know, it was sweet. It was awesome. I caught a shitload of perch. A couple bluegill. But. Tough Guy Chew. Guys, you want to check it out. Go check it out. ToughGuyChew.com Get yourself some. It should be back in stock real soon. Kick-ass spit tunes. Come on. Mudjug.com. Go check it out. You buy one, you can either get a basic one free, or you can donate it to the damn uh, military, which is awesome. I mean, I, I, I got one for free because yeah, I've only bought one so far. So, I mean, if, when I order again, I'm definitely donating it to the troops because I, I think that's awesome. Dorsey does a kick-ass job on that. But, guys... For now, happy fishing. I'm out.